Welcome to your market update and charts of the day. It's the 16th of April 2024. Hope you're well today. And let's have a look at what's happening through Asian markets today. It's Mike Smith in at Go Markets to lead you around what's happening right now. Of course, overnight we saw potential conflict in the Middle East escalating concerning markets and resulting in all major indices closing down. Some fairly aggressive rhetoric back after that drone attack on Israel from Iran. And this was despite better than expected earnings. I would suspect that this will be a headline driven market for at least the next couple of three days uh, until we see some clarity about what might happen next. Fairly serious situation. And of course, that's resulted in a little bit of follow through, not only in US futures, which are slightly lower, but obviously Asian markets are following that weak US lead. ASX is down nearly 2%. And it's got worse since open. European equity futures also point into a very much lower open as well. Seeing a bit of a flight to safety, money coming into the US dollar index, which is now at October levels, and gold, which closed in on record high of 2400. Copper surprisingly moved higher, testing the next key level at 435, but is a little weaker in Asia despite some stronger than expected Chinese GDP number. Oil edged higher, but still within the range. I would expect that to continue to rise if there is any hint of an escalation of conflict. Bitcoin has dropped to test the 63,500 support. And we have got some important data out today, but I suggest that the UK jobs, German Eurozone economic sentiment, Canadian CPI and US housing data and industrial production will all be overshadowed by any headlines that come out relating to the Middle East. A couple of charts of core RI today. Uh, the Australian dollar under significant pressure. You can see it's pushing on this S2 level at around about 64. If we get a breach there, we've got a possible 35 to 40 pip move to the downside. Uh, 64 is also an interesting level on the weekly pivot. So that appears to be really quite important. The weekly pivots I've put on here, uh, you can see by the blue line. So watch for a breach of that. Of course, if we get any escalation and further buying into the USD, uh, we'll see that happen. On the ASX, we're really struggling to find anything noteworthy. Illumina that we've talked about before is interesting. We did get a small pullback today, but outperforming other resource stocks, partly due to a good performance in Alcoa in the US overnight. Uh, so we're still looking with interest at this 158 level for a potential move up towards 171. That's worth keeping an eye on, though today might be a day where this doesn't happen. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.